Hello Autodesk people and welcome yet again to another tips and tricks session on AutoCAD MEP 2017. The subject of today's video is going to be how do we uh, edit catalogs um, and these are parametric fitting catalogs so that we can only have um, a limited size range for the angles for instance for elbows. Let's say you wanted to do piping and uh, you only ever wanted to use 45 degree elbows and 90 degree elbows. Um, our fabrication, excuse me, our AutoCAD MEP design tools um, automatically come with a huge variety of uh, fittings and different angles that we can, uh, uh, you know, append to them. But um, we may want to modify them so it only includes what's relevant to the, our designs. So let's take a look at how to do that. Let's uh, take a quick look at the problem that we're experiencing and how to solve it. So. What we're going to do is um, we're going to go to our piping palettes. Now here I've got pressure pipe, I've got gravity pipe, and I'm going to choose this pipe by routing preference to sanitary drain waste vent. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that I'm using the, uh, the routing preference for PVC, right? So here's PVC elbows. I'm going to route a six inch pipe and uh, I'll go ahead and hit new run and I'll add another piece of pipe over here. Now if we want to um, add for instance another piece of pipe connecting these at whatever angle what you're going to notice is that we have all of these options. Now down at the bottom I can see it says connect or preview next solution I have one of eight right so if I hit next you're going to see all of the different options that are available to me you're also going to see, um, you know, every once in a while you, you'll find that you've got an, an odd option here um, that just doesn't seem to work properly. So before I continue here, by default, AutoCAD MEP has this route option where it says use fitting tolerance set to yes. By default, that's set to yes. Let me show you what that does. When you go to connect something, it automatically understands that there's some play in this socket uh, socket type of fitting here and that we can, in fact, make these connections at these odd angles. So this is the first thing that we have to turn off. So this way, once we turn this off, let's say no to that, uh, once we turn this off, it, it restricts us to only what's available in the catalog definition of this particular parametric fitting. So I've got 90s, I've got 45s, 30s, 22 and a half, 15 degrees, and 11 and a quarter. So where are all these numbers coming from? If all I want is 45s and 90s, how do I edit that? So let's take you to the Auto Academy P Learn in Derby, okay? What we need to do is we need to modify what's referred to as the catalogs. So the catalogs are um, definitions of these parametric fittings that are used. So before I continue in here, let's kind of do the, uh, let's reverse engineer this. If I put in a fitting here, let's just say it's at 45 degrees, I need to know what aim, what specific fitting this is. So this is an elbow. So let's go look at this. The elbow says it is a glued dash schedule 40 PVC elbow. So let's take a look at a couple of things here. If I go to the Manage ribbon, under the Style Manager, you will see that you have two buttons. There is a top half of the button, and there is a bottom half of the button. If you click on the bottom half of the button, it's a quick access to the pipe routing preference. Okay, So the, the pipe routing preference for sanitary PVC drain waste and vent uses two separate size ranges. Let's, uh, let's take a look at these size ranges. So the first size range here, size range one, um, what it is is inch and a quarter to six inch uh, piping. As you can see, size range one. And how do I know that? Well, that's, lim that's, um, that's listed here as the, the size upper limit. So one and a quarter to six inches. Now down below, this one has a different limit. This one has an 8 inch limit, as you can see here listed under the upper size limit. 
Okay, so what we want to do is we're looking at the elbow, specifically the straight elbow. It tells this routing preference tells AutoCAD MEP that when you run into a situation where you have to place a straight elbow, use the glued dash schedule 40 PVC elbow. All right. So that's the, the parametric fitting that we're going to modify so that it only includes 45 degrees and 90 degrees. In order to do that, you go to the catalog editor and you find the, the APC file type. This is an Autodesk product catalog, an APC file type. If you do not know where to find this file, it's very simple to locate. I'll show you where it's at. If you get to your options, you will see the classic AutoCAD options dialog box. AutoCAD MEP has several catalogs, excuse me, several tabs that are specific for AutoCAD MEP objects. The one we're looking for is AutoCAD MEP catalogs and if you simply expand the pipe catalog, you will see all of the separate catalog files that we're dealing with. I've got cast iron, got ductile, and the one I'm looking for happens to be this plastic uh, pipes.apc file. So this is the, the file path that you will need to navigate to in order to find that particular fitting. So once you get to the catalog editor, you open up that particular file plastic pipes. Now the category here is glued and you take a look at that specific fitting and it is called glued dash schedule 40 dash PVC elbow. Let's take a look at this. This is the basic table. Now I want you to pay attention to a couple of things here. I want you to pay attention to this ND1 column which stands for nominal connection diameter. It's uh, it happens to be this little guy right here. And you can see all the nominal sizes. So half inch, three quarters, one inch, inch and a half, excuse me, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. You can kind of see all this. The other angle, the other uh, column I need you to pay attention to is path A1. And if you look at the description here, that happens to be the angle that we're dealing with. So remember all those angles that we had available to us? Here's the 11 and a half category. Here's all the 15, 22 and a half. Here's the 30, and if I keep scrolling down, you'll see the 45s and you'll see the 90s for every instance of these diameters. So in order to go ahead and modify this, I am a proponent of not modifying any of the stock catalogs that come with AutoCAD, MEP, right? I am a big proponent of duplicating and modifying a copy of it. I'll show you how I do that. So here's the for, uh, the glued dash schedule 40 dash PVC elbow. I simply copy it and I paste it right back into the glued category. I paste it in here. And I will rename this one. I will rename it so it's it gives me the appropriate uh, name uh, name here. So I'll tell it it's a 45 and 90 only, right? So these elbows are 45s and 90 only. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just selecting that list that I typed here. I'm just selecting that, that line that I typed here. And I'm going to change it here in this, in this description. As you can see, the description says glued-schedule40-pvc. Now this is important because the description is, the, is what actually shows up in the um, later it will show up in the pipe routing preference. Okay, so I want to make sure that those two match. All right, so now let's get into the heart and soul of modifying these. So I want to get rid of all of the 11 and a halfs. I don't want any of those. I don't want any of the 15s. I want to get rid of the 22 and a half. I want to get rid of the 30 degree angles. So what this leaves me with is all of these different pipe fitting uh, pipe fittings in these diameters at 45 degrees as well as 90 degrees. That's all this is, right? So I can save this file. It's going to save my catalog file that I've just created and I can close this. Now before any changes happen in AutoCAD MEP, 
under the Manage ribbon, under the MEP Content panel, if you highlight this little uh, downward triangle, the slide out will allow us access to the Regenerate Catalog tool. Now down at the bottom, once, I, once you activate this in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see that it says Catalog Regen and you have options here. Since I only modify the pipe catalog, I'm just going to select that particular option. Now AutoCAD MEP is taken over here at this point and it's looking at all of the different catalogs that I had uh, been working with and it's regenerating all of the parametric fittings based off of what's in those catalogs. So now that I've got all of that taken care of, it gives me a quick little report of what it did. It tells me how many parts were successfully regenerated and it gives me a count of any errors. And here I can see it's zero. Okay, so what, what I wanna do is I wanna be very deliberate about how I manage this. So again, I will go to the bottom half of the style manager button and I will activate my pipe routing preferences. Now the sanitary PVC is using Schedule 40 for the elbow straight. It's using this one called Schedule 40 PVC elbows. But now you'll notice I have an elbow that's specific to 45 and 90 degree only. So again, I don't want to modify the standard out of the box pipe routing preference that Auto Academy P comes with. So what I'll do, and this is best practices, I will copy it and then I will paste it right back in here. So now I have a copy. And this one, I'll simply call uh, 45 and 90 only. Okay, so the preference here then, at this elbow straight, I will use that specific one that I created in my catalogs. So now I'm ready to rock here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt this one more time. Uh, a couple more times actually. I will add this pipe and I'll bring it down here. And this one you will see has 90s. It has 45s as well as 30s as well as 22 and a halfs. And remember I didn't modify the existing one that comes out of Auto Academy P. Instead, rather what I did was I went through the uh, I duplicated it and I made a new fitting type. So I'll go ahead and, you know what, I'll accept this 30. So what I'll do next, again, I will go to my tool palette. I will make a new sanitary drain waste vent pipe. Except before I finish, I'm going to go to my routing preference and my properties and tell it that I want to use sanitary PVC 45 and 90 only. So here I'll add a piece of pipe. I'll start a new run. I don't know, like over here somewhere. And um, what I'll do next is I'll see how many elbows or whatever the case is here. So I'll connect this, even though my compass says 15 degrees, you're going to be limited to what that particular fitting has available to it. And in this case, all I have for this particular fitting is a 90 degree and a 45 degree option. All right, so in closing, what we did was we turned off a particular pipe routing feature. This can only be accessed once you've started the piping command in the properties palette, okay? You will find it under the routing options. Use fitting tolerance. I, by default, it's on. I'm telling you to set it to no. And if you don't find it in the pipe, uh, in the properties palette, you can also just turn it on and off in the command prompt under tolerance. So currently, you can see that it's it's off. And if you click on this, it will turn it on. If you click on it again, it will turn it off. Right. So that's the first step. And then the second step is modifying the catalog entries here. And again, best practices, I don't like to modify what Autodesk produces. I like to keep those intact. I like to replicate and make my own catalog file 
that I can play with. If there's any kind of error, I can always go back and revert to the standard Autodesk uh, provided content. Whereas if I'm modifying the standard Autodesk content, I have to commit to that. So that's why I'm a proponent of not committing to the, uh, the out of the box stuff. I replicate it and I make my own version of it. Okay, and finally, um, to tie all of this back in together, um, I have a specific tool, excuse me, a specific routing preference that I was able to leverage. So the 45s and 90 only use this specific fitting from the catalog that I generated. And this sanitary PVC drain waste vent does not modify itself. I mean, I haven't modified it. It's still the original from AutoCAD uh, MEP, and that's the difference of what you're seeing here. So thanks for joining us on this particular uh, tips and tricks video. I've got more coming your way uh, probably in early January of 2017. I think that's going to do it for uh, this year and the videos I plan on producing. Um, I may do a few more, but for now, I think that's going to be um, for now. I think that's going to be all. Join me again for our uh, upcoming uh, tips and tricks sessions, and we'll see you next time.